was tens. Transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation, TENS, is a non-invasive technique in which a low-voltage electrical current is delivered through wires from a small power unit to electrodes located on the skin. Transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation, TENS, currently is one of the most commonly used forms of electroanalgesia. Mechanism of TENS the mechanism of the analgesia produced by TENS is explained by the gate control theory proposed by Meltzak and Wall in 1965. The gate usually is closed, inhibiting constant nociceptive transmission via C fibers from the periphery to the T cell. The currently proposed mechanisms by which TENS produces neuromodulation include the following. Presynaptic inhibition in the dorsal horn of the spinal cord. Endogenous pain control, via endorphins, encephalins, and dynorphins. Direct inhibition of an abnormally excited nerve. Restoration of afferent input. Mechanism of pain. When painful peripheral stimulation occurs, however, the information carried by C fibers reaches the T cells and opens the gate, allowing pain transmission centrally to the thalamus and cortex, where it is interpreted as pain. Construction of TENS A transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation TENS, unit consists of one or more electrical signal generators, a battery, and a set of electrodes. The TENS unit is small and programmable, and the generators can deliver trains of stimuli with variable current strengths, pulse rates, and pulse widths. Settings of TENS The usual settings for the stimulus parameters used clinically are the following. Amplitude, current at a comfortable, low intensity level, just above threshold. Pulse width, duration. 10 to 1000 microseconds pulse rate frequency 80 to 100 impulses per second hertz 0.5 to 10 hertz when the stimulus intensity is set high methods of application the three options for the standard settings used in different therapeutic methods of tens application include the following Conventional TENS has a high stimulation frequency, 40 to 150 Hz, and low intensity, just above threshold, with the current set between 10 to 30 ma. The pulse duration is short, up to 50 microseconds. Vector The onset of analgesia with this setup is virtually immediate. Pain relief lasts while the stimulus is turned on but it usually decrease when the stimulation stops. In acupuncture-like settings, the TENS unit delivers low-frequency stimulus trains at 1 to 10 Hz, at a high stimulus intensity, close to the tolerance limit of the patient. Although this method sometimes may be more effective than conventional TENS, it is uncomfortable, and not many patients can tolerate. This method often is considered for patients who do not respond to conventional TENS. Pulsed, burst, TENS uses low intensity stimuli firing in high frequency bursts. The recurrent bursts discharge at 1 to 2 Hz, and the frequency of impulses within each burst is at 100 Hz. No particular advantage has been established for the pulsed method over the conventional TENS method. Indications for ER TENS Neurogenic pain Phantom pain, post-herpetic neuralgia, trigeminal neuralgia, atypical facial pain, brachial plexus avulsion, pain after spinal cord injury, PSI. Musculoskeletal pain, include joint pain from rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis acute post-operative pain and acute post-traumatic pain. Visceral pain and dysmenorrhea, TENS has been successfully applied to these conditions. Other disorders, 
TENS has been used successfully in patients with angina pectoris and urge incontinence, as well as in patients requiring dental anesthesia. Reports discuss the use of TENS to assist patients in regaining motor function following stroke, to control nausea in patients undergoing chemotherapy, as an opioid sparing modality in post-operative recovery, and in post-fracture pain. Contraindications of TENS Patients with a pacemaker TENS should not be used during pregnancy, because it may induce premature labor. TENS should not be applied over the carotid sinuses due to the risk of acute hypotension through a vasovagal reflex. TENS should not be placed over the anterior neck because laryngospasm due to laryngeal muscle contraction may occur. The electrodes should not be placed in an area of sensory impairment, e.g., in cases of nerve lesions, neuropathies, where the possibility of burns exists. A TENS unit should be used cautiously in patients with a spinal cord stimulator or an intrathecal pump.